and I, I'd like to welcome everybody here this evening to the first reading by the Dublin Poetry Conference. And uh, again, some sad news tonight, on, unfortunately, the, the death of Christopher Debo on Friday came as a shock, and I, I think as a mark of respect, we have a minute silence for Christopher Debo. Thanks very much. Our first guest tonight here is uh, Brendan O'Byrne, and uh, Brendan is originally from Scarif in County Clare. Uh, he's, uh, I've known him since the 1980s. I think the first time we met was in Paulie's pub down in um, <coughs> Baggett Street many, many months ago in the early Boys Free years. And uh, he gave a magnificent contribution to Boys Free uh, back in those years. I think he participated in all the events. Then also then, his first book, A Walk in the Sun, was published by Boys Free Press in 1987, and his 10th book, It Could Be You, was printed by Last Gas Press uh, last year, and that, and also a novelette called Utterances and Flutterances, and there's one or two copies here of both books, here tonight. And uh, the, the thing with Brendan, and that, as I said, in that period of time, uh, 10 books is a, is a remarkable achievement, it's a pleasure to have him reading here, and I'd like to welcome Brendan O'Byrne. That was a wonderful introduction, Sean. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank Michael O'Flanagan and Sean Kerry for their magnificent work in poetry, and this event in particular has, has um, put, them on, put poetry on the map. Um, I was very shocked to hear the death of Jonathan Philbin Bowman. And um, the last words I, I said to him were, he was coming out of some building on the Keys, and I said, uh, um, I don't like politics. And he said to me, everything is politics. So we remember it both himself and Christopher Davo. Um, I'd like to start with um, a poem dedicated to the memory of my mother. And the book was uh, David on the Weather, 96. She died in 95. And the poem is called Mother. You face death with quiet dignity. Your face composed as destiny. In life, you gave order to the chaos of the day, filled with children. I will always keep your smile beside me and remember your recipe of love and harmony. Thank you. And this is the first book that was published by Boys Free Press in 1987. It's called Walk in the Sun. And I'd like to read one poem from it, maybe another one before I finish. The first poem is called Marilyn, for Norma Jean, Marilyn Monroe. You married the world. The world swallowed you and stripped you of your young life. You were roped into a loser's paradise. On the street, the faceless crowds surged forward to see you in your lost composure, their appetite to stare and satiate. Foreign hands soiled you, and you were imbued with the romance of death. Everywhere I look, I see your face. Marlin, one tear-stained eye was your human planet. Marlin, the handle with which you rule the world broke. All I say is a Jew, beautiful loser, a thousand times a Jew. This is a collection from 1988. And I'm going to read two poems from it, the first two poems. The first one is called Requiem for the Sixties. Silence of the lost ones, those of fractured consciousness, Eyes like shattered windscreens of the subcontinents of the mind. Silence of the innocent in search of an answer. The golden fleece, the grail, the rosy crucifixion. Silence of the defeated, though they do not go under, but wait around the corner 
for the promise of a greater day. This uh, second poem from Islands of Flesh is called Blizzard of Sound. It's a tribute to Jimi Hendrix, who is, who is one of my heroes and a magnificent guitarist. Blizzard of Sound, portrait of the electric prophet, prophet of the guitar dream. Sound sensations are scattered, sailing into ears. Snarling, sparkling, anarchic sound. The air is livid with the electric muse, with an illustrated blizzard of sound. You flung accusations of music into our promised land. We knelt in outer space and thrilled to your commands. <laughs>